Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a video I'm very excited about. I'm going to be doing a bridal makeup look using Charlotte Tilbury. The reason I chose to use Charlotte Tilbury is because I feel like she has the perfect bridal line. All of the colors in her line are perfect for brides. So if you are looking for makeup to buy for your wedding, I think Charlotte Tilbury is a very good route to go. Of course, you don't have to use Charlotte Tilbury, but I mean, this is a really gorgeous look though. So I was going for kind of a glowy, blushy bridal kind of look. No, I'm not getting married. I did start doing bridal makeup this season on clients and stuff and I've really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed the different looks that I've gotten to do. So with that experience, I've kind of compiled everything that I've learned, everybody's preferences, things like that into this tutorial. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Whether you're getting married or not, this is a really good helpful tutorial. I talk a lot about the Charlotte Tilbury products themselves, so it is very informative regardless. So anyways, if you want to learn how I got this look and what what I use then just keep watching Okay, so let's talk skin prep. Now, honestly, I think Charlotte Tilbury has some of the most amazing products when it comes to skin prep for makeup. So I love the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I just have mine in a little container right here so it's more portable. This product just perfectly moisturizes the skin. It sinks in really quickly and it's just the most fantastic base for makeup. It smooths your skin out but leaves it feeling just a touch tacky so that the foundation is really going to adhere to it very well. Under eye prep is very important no matter how old you are or how young you are. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue. I use this all the time, especially on those with more mature skin. It does not really matter if you have mature skin or not. This is so important for pictures to hydrate your under eyes so that they don't look gross and crepey in your photos. So I'm just putting a little bit right underneath. Just a touch. You don't want to put too much so that it promotes creasing, but just enough to leave your under eyes looking hydrated. Next, I'm going to use my Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade number one, and I'm going to use that to create a glow from within look. I also have it in shade three, and on days where I want super glowy skin, I will put this all over underneath my foundation. However, you don't want to run the risk of looking too glowy, or that flash photography hitting you in the wrong way, or just looking sweaty. So I'm just gonna do a touch of the glow on the high points of my face, because like I said, you will Will probably be all types of emotional running around out in the heat if you're having a summer wedding so your natural oils are going to compensate for that so putting this in the high points of your face is going to add a little bit of extra glow that's going to look so pretty when the Sun hits you so Charlotte Tilbury has two foundations she has her light wonder foundation now this foundation is extremely glowy but it's also extremely light coverage it's more of a tint she also has the magic foundation now i don't have a regular bottle of it uh, but i have a ton of these little packets so this is what i use when i want to use it until i run out of them then i will buy the full one but i'm actually going to mix both of these the magic foundation provides that actual cover but mixing it with the light wonder foundation is going to give your face a beautiful natural glow. Mixing the two is going to be that perfect mix between coverage but still having a natural glow to your skin. Make sure you bring that foundation onto your neck up to wherever your dress neckline is so that your skin doesn't look different colors in the photos. So that's really really important for a bride. Charlotte Tilbury does have some eyebrow products. I personally don't really like her eyebrow pencil so I'm just going to go off camera do my eyebrows as I regularly would and then I'll come back. My personal Personal suggestion would be don't go too crazy a powder is perfect so I'll be right back so for concealer Charlotte Tilbury has the magic away liquid concealer now I'm not gonna lie this isn't my favorite concealer in the world but it still is a very nice concealer I really just don't like the packaging it gets kind of gooky and that sponge I just ugh, not my favorite but the product itself is really nice just make sure you set it very well because it will crease Make sure you avoid applying too many layers. You really should just do one and done with each product so that it doesn't build up. 
it. Now I know Charlotte Tilbury does have a loose setting powder. I personally do not own that. I'm just going to go ahead and use the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. I really love this powder. It's very light. I think it's perfect for wedding touch-ups and just giving that all over finish to the skin because there is a slight glow to it. It's very, very light and I'm just patting it kind of in the more important area. Now, I don't love this for setting my under eyes. Normally, I would use a translucent powder, but I am just going to lightly just apply a little bit of powder. If you have very oily skin, then I definitely would recommend adding a little bit more powder than I am. I have more normal to dry skin, so I'm just powdering in the areas that do get a little bit shiny. And you just want to use this powder to continue touching up throughout the day. This is beautiful for touch-ups because it doesn't look like it's building up. It sucks the oil right in without looking cakey. So I am going to do a very light sculpt or bronze, if you will. I'm going to be using the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette in Fair to Medium. This is the perfect sculpting bronzing shade. Now she has a lot of awesome sculpting and bronzing palettes. Now, if you get the Glowgasm palette, this does come with a bronzer, but that one's personally not my favorite bronzer. I like that Sculpt Powder better. She also has a contour wand, which is amazing. It blends out like butter. If you do want that cream contour kind of thing, I would recommend this, but I'm just going to go ahead and stick to powder, which is what I personally feel most comfortable using. And you will see how beautiful this powder is. It's so light without being too orange. This is just the perfect color. So I'm just going to go ahead and move into the eyes. Now she has a lot of beautiful palettes that would be great for a bride. I think for today I'm going to go ahead and use the Pillow Talk Quad because look how perfect this is. I'm going for like a blushing bride look so this is going to tie in perfectly to that. If you like a little bit more dark warm eyes, the Dreamgasm palette is absolutely gorgeous and with the Icon palette you can create a lot of different looks as well but I'm just going to go ahead, keep it simple and go with the Pillow Talk Quad. With the eye makeup today I think I'm going to keep it very simple and light. So I'm going to start off by taking this pinky color and that's going to go all over. Literally using the same brush, I'm going to go in with the deeper shade right here and put that in my outer corners. Now as you can see, as far as the contours go with this palette, it's not going to go much deeper. So this really is going to work for fair to light skin, but once you hit that medium range, it is going to be a little bit more difficult to bring that depth to the eyes. For me, this is perfect. It's not too deep and it opens up my eyes, but I definitely would suggest maybe trying the Icon palette. You can really play with these deeper colors down here. I personally love a nice bright lid color just to open up your eyes. It looks beautiful and photos so I'm just gonna take this color with my finger and apply that all over Now, since I will be doing fake eyelashes today, I am going to apply just a very small black line on my upper lash line so that it gives my lashes something to lay on. So I'll be right back. So I would suggest doing eyeliner just because in photos, you really want your eyes to pop and eyeliner is what is going to do that. Now, I didn't do a wing like I normally do just because wings actually are not a timeless look. And once you add lashes, that kind of elongates your eyes for you. So just just a pretty thin black line should suffice. Now, depending on your eye shape, you may not need to do this or you can do this with black or brown, but I'm actually going to use a light eyeliner that's skin tone in my waterline to open up my eyes even more. I want to have really bright looking eyes in the photo. I mean, I'm not really getting photos taken of me, but <laughs> the Color Chameleon Champagne Diamonds Eye Pencil. I hope from that you can tell how much more awake my eyes look after doing that. So 
we are going to move back to the face. Now, Charlotte Tilbury has very beautiful blush products. I really have been liking her lip to cheek dewy color pop sticks but since i'm looking for something that's a little bit more long wearing that's not going to risk running off my face or getting oily i'm just going to go ahead with a good old powder blush so if you want something more neutral i definitely would recommend pillow talk this is going to look great with whatever look that you're doing medium to deep skin tones i think you will really enjoy sex on fire i really want that blushing bright look i personally think that looks so pretty in photos so i'm going to use love is the drug now here's the thing with blush don't be scared if you think it looks like a little much in person makeup gets taken away i think like 30 to 40 percent in photos and if you just do a really light natural blush and that doesn't show in photos you actually look very washed out so sometimes a little bit more blush than what you're comfortable with looks better especially in your photos Now a little trick that's also going to look very natural in photos is if you take a little of that on the, your nose and then even up towards the temple. So this is not necessary but if you want that really like blushing bright look that is something that you can do. Alright so highlight. Charlotte Tilbury has a lot of different types of highlights. If you want something more natural you can actually use the highlight in this duo. That would be really pretty. Something a little bit more glowy and sheeny. This Glowgasm face palette will be stunning. Even if you want like a really shiny blush this is in here as well. Now I know her products are really expensive so if you are looking for Charlotte Tilbury face products for your wedding but you want to save some money, uh, go on her website and pick up this glowing pretty skin palette so what's in here is actually the powder that i used to set my entire face the bronze and contour color that i used i'm pretty sure that's the same color that's in here either way this is a really nice cool toned shading color you have two beautiful blushes and two very subtle highlighters so if you want to save some cha-ching just get this palette these products are beautiful as well but today i do want to show you the bar of gold palette this is one of my absolute favorite highlighting palettes as you can see it is very used this is the highlighting palette that I use in my makeup kit when I do other brides makeup I just love the way it sits on the skin. I love that really bright glow it gives to the face You can build it up. You can keep it very subtle. This is just absolutely fantastic So if you buy this for your wedding like you're gonna use it forever. It is gorgeous I mix the colors all the time. So since I have more of a pinky look going on I'm going to use the pink highlight and I'm gonna mix it in a little bit with this bright color if I'm going for a more warm look I'll mix these two if it's a medium skin tone I'll just use this one this palette is beautiful but I'm mainly gonna go for this and then just a touch of that and this in pictures is stunning do you guys see that I love this palette I also always love to add a little bit of a highlight right in here now I don't go in the whole tear duct area just a touch right on the inside of the eye so that it's still pretty subtle okay so i'm going to curl my eyelashes apply mascara next mascara is most definitely a must i don't have a charlotte tilbury one so i'm just using the nars climax mascara i'm trying this one out now probably my number one recommendation for brides is to use fake eyelashes even if they're not used to it because that's going to make the biggest difference in photos i am telling you i personally just think it's a necessity it makes a huge difference so typically i use just on my brides ardell wispies or ardell demi wispies those are the safest they look the best on everybody they're affordable easy accessible if you have larger eyes i would use the wispies if you have smaller eyes or are less comfortable in lashes i would use demi wispies so today i'm going to be using demi wispies now i'm going to tell you a trick i should have said this in the beginning but i didn't i'm not doing it today 
but on weddings what I'll do is before the I even start the makeup I run a quick layer of lash glue on the lashes and I just let it set so once it's dried it is very tacky obviously it's not going to stick to the skin then what you're gonna do is when it's time to actually put on lashes is put a second layer of the glue and let that dry for about 30 seconds to a minute and then put the lashes on that is what's going to make your eyelashes stay on forever again that is not something I do on a regular basis but you know on wedding days it's a long day so I do like to use that trick just to help the lashes stay on a little bit better I learned that little trick from Michelle Obama's makeup artist Carl Ray I attended one of his bridal beauty seminars and that was a trick he told us and I've never been the same since. Afterwards, make sure you put mascara on both of the lashes and then curl them so that your eyelashes look one with each other. I'm just gonna press them together today because I plan on reusing these lashes. But definitely on wedding day, make sure you mascara them together. Biggest difference, I'm telling you. I would suggest applying a second coat of bottom lash mascara if you can so that it evens out from the fake eyelashes. So I do want to talk lips. I think Charlotte Tilbury has some of the most beautiful colors for weddings. She has so many that I could recommend to you guys, but I'm just going to recommend my top three favorites that I would probably use. So first I'm going to start off with the Pillow Talk Lip Liner. This is the perfect nudie pink. Most brides seem to want like just a light pink lip, so this is always the perfect lip color. Make sure you don't overline too much. Remember the big lips is a trend. While I think a full lip does look nice, you don't want it to look too fake either. So the lip liner is going to allow you to adjust the lip shape. Also, it's going to keep your lip color on for so much longer. If you watch my channel at all, you would know that Charlotte Tilbury has my absolute favorite lipstick formulas. So I picked three that I personally loved and you can choose based on what you want. So this first one here is Kidman's Kiss. It's just a really, really light, bright pink. Then we have Live It Up. Now this one's a little bit more of a shiny, moisturizing formula, a little bit more blue compared to Kidman's Kiss. The other color that I pulled out is Super Cindy. So this one's a little bit more peachy, and I think this is the one I'm gonna go for my look today. It matches my eyes. Now obviously you can do whatever lip color you want and you're most comfortable with. My recommendation would be not to go for something that's too nude because you have to think about pictures. You have to think of the people that are watching you from far away. If you pick too nude of a color, it's gonna wash out your face. If you pick a color that maybe is a little bit brighter, it's going to bring your lips out. It's gonna bring life to your face. So I think that this color is the perfect combination of nude but still bright enough so that it can be seen. Also think about wear time. You know, you don't wanna have to think about your lips all the time. So if you actually choose a more bold color than you're used to, it's going to fade very pretty throughout the evening and you have to touch up less. So that's also something to consider. So this is basically the makeup. I will be right back. All right, so this is what the makeup looks like once you take a step back as you can see it's very natural it brings out my features uh, the color is popping in the right places and I just think this is a gorgeous look for brides I have some glow to my skin I also have kept in mind that you are going to get a little bit more oily throughout the day so you are going to look a little bit more of a glowing blushing bride as time goes on as well like I said that airbrush perfecting flawless powder this is the best touch-up powder ever I love it so of course if you are getting married you don't have to use all Charlotte Tilbury makeup I just love Charlotte Tilbury and I feel like her line is perfect for brides so I thought it would be fun to do a Charlotte Tilbury wedding makeup tutorial but you can do anything using any brand. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know what you think below and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.